Go. Hi, this is Bill of Great Lakes Bee Supply. We're going to do a quick demonstration of what to do to help take care of the problem we had last year with moisture accumulating in the hives. This is our <clears throat> box. You have to remember you have to go through your hive and you have to distribute your honey out through the hive so that no matter where the <coughs> ball is that it will have food to eat. The bees will have food to eat no matter where they are accumulated in there. Now in a land straw hive, this is the box. Made in three sections. It sets directly on the top of your stack. Doesn't matter how many deeps or honey supers you have, but it sets right on the top. In this box is set up with three compartments. The first and second, or first and third compartment, we take coarse wood chips. And these wood chips came from Tractor Supply. And you can get them in different grades, but they're coarse. You don't want to put fine sawdust in here. So you take these chips out. You fill up this box. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill the box all the way to the top. Because this is what's going to absorb the moisture when the bees accumulate it in the winter time. And you want to pack these in pretty good. You don't want them real too loosely filled. You want to pack them in pretty good. So you pack these in. Now this year what we're suggesting is that instead of putting a winter inner cover on, because of the fact that this winterizing addition to a hive is going to block off a lot of the air coming out the top anyway, what you want to do is put these wood chips right up to the top and even a little bit over the top so that when it pushes down it compresses them down. Fill up both of the outside areas with the wood chips. One big bag, if you get it at Tractor Supply, one big bag will probably do five to six hives, five to six of these boxes. So you just keep filling these big wood chips in. It's a little messy, but fill them in. Pack them right on there. Clear out what wood chips you got in the middle. The screen under the wood chips is one eighth inch screen that you know from having your inner screen cover in your base. They don't get through the bottom of the wood chips on this side or the wood chips on this side. The screen in the middle is one half inch called hardware cloth or screening so that's prepping for your moisture protection clean the edges off good now the center will get a bee brick online we will have two recipes for bee bricks but it's mostly compacted sugar mixed with syrup this is made this is a real rigid one this one you will now take and you will put this right down in the center. This is what your bees will eat if the bee ball in the winter time moved up to the top of the hive. This gives them food at the top so that they don't starve even if they have honey down inside. Keep in mind that you have to intermix your honey frames in with your broods and your, the rest of your bees. You want to mix those up so even if they ball in the bottom of the box, you still have honey down there for them to eat. You've got to keep the honey to them. And then on top of this, once your wood chips are all in and your bee brick is in, you just have that installed on the top of your boxes. Then you take your screen cover 
you put it right on there the correct way, you'll see that the screen goes right down and pushes on the wood chips. And then you put your lid on. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Your wood chips absorb the moisture. Your bee brick is in there to feed them. Once you put your lid on and winterize your hive, the hive will be warm enough in there to not bother with. And because of the fact that the wood chips are on either side, the amount of air that escapes out of here or draft that the bees would have is pretty minimal because of the wood chips blocking it off. Do exactly the same thing with your Great Lakes Long Hive. Your Great Lakes Long Hive is the, not exactly the same size, but is the same, made the same way. You lift up your lid, you put your wood chips on this side, your wood chips on this side, and then you put your bee brick in the middle, or you can put, actually this one gets long enough where you could actually put two bee bricks in here. Then this sets right in your long hive, adjust it back left and right so that when you close the lid, the lid doesn't hit on it. And let these pile up also. Let these pile up. Now in the long hive, you won't have another screen to sit on top of it, okay? This seals your bees down in the box by putting this on. And we suggest sort of putting two or three flat slats towards the entrance, put this box in, then fill up on the other side with slats until you get to the end of your blocker board. You're pretty much sealing the bees down in there. But they, that will give them food in order to come up and get this, or the bee ball will actually come up and attach itself uh, pretty much to the bottom of this. Um, that's, that's about the end of it. Uh, most of the problem we had last year was moisture was getting most of the bees. The inside of the cover was getting a lot of moisture in it. That's why insulating with a piece of styrofoam right on the very top of your lid after you put your lid on will take care of that moisture problem. You need more insulation, especially laying right on the lid. So cut a piece of styrofoam that's bigger than your lid put it on there, put a cement block on it, a rock, something so the wind doesn't blow it off, and then that, that should keep the top insulated and good for winter. If you have any questions, you can call Great Lakes Bee Supply, talk to Rifton or myself, and uh, we'll try to help you. But in a nutshell, that's about the end of it.